Hey everyone, this is Captain Daniel Hyun from ABCs of Attraction. Are you an intermediate level and you get on the results that you truly wanted and you're actually pretty successful with the women you're dating, but you experience such burnout where you actually don't want to approach, you don't want to call her, you don't want to go on a date with her. Have you felt that just burnout? Well, here's this video is going to show you three quick tips that you could use right now to actually feel and the love for the passion of the game again. So by the end of this video, you're gonna rekindle and feel that love for the game you had when you were a newbie. So here's tip number one. Take a break. Here's the thing. Take at least a break one time per week or twice per week. Reduce the name, number of days you actually go out. Or take a sabbatical where you actually take one month off or a couple weeks off and go somewhere else and literally take a break where you don't approach. You don't approach women, you don't even think about women. Okay, that is crucial to just take a complete break. Even athletes do that, we call them rest days, okay? And people, they call they call these social media breaks, right? So there's always a break, there's always, that's why people go on holiday from work, right? So now that you have been just going so hard, take a break. That's it's okay. You're, you, it's like muscle memory because you're at an intermediate level. You know how to talk to women and date women. So it's okay to take a break. You're not gonna lose everything. All right. Tip number two: Be grateful and appreciate it of what you have learned and what you have experienced in, in game. And one of the biggest things is. At an intermediate level, you probably got there because you have certain brothers, right? Certain brothers you go out with who actually done this with you, right? Is in this journey with you. We call it this the journey of brotherhood, right? The one thing we realize about this journey is that there's so many things going on. I would say it's like going to war sometimes. You're going through a lot together, right? And for you to get to this level, you probably had people who helped you, right? Mentors or even friends that you went out with. That we call them wingmen, right? So just appreciate that. Go open up. Go tell your wingman that you're experiencing burnout, right? Maybe go out with your wingman and all you do is wingman for him. You actually go out not for results for yourself, but you're actually going out for your friend and your brother and your wingman. So actually go out for him, right? Because here's the thing, we'll always quit on ourselves, but we'll never quit on somebody else. He's your wingman for life. So tip number three, make it work for you. Make game or dating work for you, okay? How do you do that? Guys, when you go to the gym, right? Let's say you're walking from point A to point B. Promise for yourself, hey, I'm just gonna do three approaches. Just three approaches. And if you get nothing out of it, you get nothing out of it, right? Do whatever you gotta do, three approaches. If three is too much, do it to one approach, right? Or let's say you take a break. Let's say I'm gonna go to the park today or I'm gonna go eat at a restaurant today. I'm gonna go to movies today or do something, a hobby you like, right? But make yourself a promise. If there's a very beautiful girl, but she has to be like a certain requirement that you have of her, then you approach, right? Or make it something like that's just part of your life, right? Let's say you always eat at a certain restaurant at this time. Only approach when you're eating at the restaurant and you see a very beautiful girl. So make it work for you. Schedule it in where it's like, it's, it doesn't something you have to think. Oh, I'm walking to the gym? Okay, I'll just talk to someone real quick. Okay, I'm walking the subway? Make it a rule that every time you go into the subway, I'm gonna at least walk through one subway car and just approach one girl, okay? Or make it, you're gonna approach anybody, right? Make it, a, we call it compliance, right? Make it such a small compliance and be like, you know what, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt my brain power to do something, okay? So literally just go make it small and make it work for you. Make it more like they say in the epitome of, you know, dating is that you make it a social life where, you know, people are introducing you to, you know, certain women that you could date. So make it like that, right? Make it game, make it work for you where you actually t have girlfriends and guy friends and you tell them, hey, you know, I'm looking for a relationship. If you know anybody, let me know. So it's like making it work for you, right? Stop forcing your way. Like, when you have to force your way to go out, right? You're like, go, you know, only approach women when you know you're going out with your friends. Be like, oh, yeah, I'm going out. Maybe I'll just do three approaches tonight, and the rest of the night is about hanging out with the boys, right? So make it work for you. So now that we're at the end, you have three quick tips that you could use right now when you're burned out. You're right now in your room. And you're like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Blah blah blah. First, take a break, right? And two. You know, be appreciative of this journey you want. It's a grateful opportunity that you are actually burned out because you work so hard. And look at all the results you have, especially your brothers around you. And third, 
is make it work for you. Make it part of your routine. So you know how when you work out and you get so habitual about it that you don't think twice about working out again or reading a book or you have certain habits that you do. It's like biting your nails. You just bite your nails and it doesn't take any mental effort. Make it a habit for you to just you know go talk to a beautiful girl. Or just talk to anyone. If you make it like that, it's less work and you, know, you actually can you know prevent burnout. So guys, if you have any questions, please message me on Instagram or Facebook and please subscribe to my channel for more tips. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.